this module is actually the second modules of the growth kinetics in continuous culture. As we have seen in a previous module that uh, we can control our growth rate in the continuous culture with the help of the dilution rate. But now we will discuss in detail that is this how this substrate concentration and the maximum specific growth rate how they are associated to each other. So, as concerned the mechanism underlying the controlling effect of the dilution rate is basically essentially the relationship expressed as by the Monard equation 1942. We have seen in our uh, previous kinetics modules that Monard equation is uh, uh, mu is equal to mu max s over k, k s and s. So, here we can say that uh, the mu max maximum specific growth rate and k s which we called as substrate utilization constant these two parameters known as Monard parameters. So, in a continuous culture when we say that mu is equal to d mean our specific growth rate when we come to the dilution rate. So, as well as there is a dilution and then there is a growth and there is no more change in the cell mass concentration in fermentation vessel then we can transform this equation just by the change of mu with d. So, we can say here that d is equal to mu max s bar over k s plus s bar. Just a minor difference in a previous equation to this equation is that what is the difference between s and s bar. So, s bar is the substrate concentration when the culture in steady state. So, simple s is only the substrate concentration which we called as a residual substrate concentration which we are. So, here we can say that s is the substrate concentration at steady state. So, by this equation if we can easily calculate if we know the dilution rate then we can easily calculate the amount of this uh, substrate at the time of steady state by just transforming this equation uh, into this. So, this equation can easily be so s bar is equal to k s d d is a dilution over mu max minus dilution. So, this whole equation is basically just the retransformation of this equation we can use easily. So, when we say in this equation, so this equation can predict that the substrate substrate concentration is determined by the dilution rate. So, in fact, so when there is a dilution that can actually the predict the substrate concentration inside the fermentation vessel. So, we can say that that in fact this occur only when the growth of the cells depleting the substrate to a concentrate that support the growth rate equal to the dilution rate. Mean when we are adding something and growth will happen when there will be a growth as well uh, we say that uh, when there is a growth cells number will be increase as well as the cell number will increase their utilization of the substrate will also increase. So, in such case when there will be a more subs, uh, more growth more cell will be there then we can say that there will be a more utilization of the substrate. So, the actual the substrate concentration in such condition is directly related to the dilution rate. So, if we can say that uh, the substrate concentration inside the continuous culture is directly related to the dilution rate. So, we can assume four possibilities uh, that uh, 
if there is a change either in a specific growth rate into the fermentation vessel or there is a change in the dilution rate what will the possible happening inside the fermentation vessels so these are the four different uh, possibilities which we will discuss here that just we can see here that if the growth rate of the cells will be less than the dilution rate mean mu if the mu is less than d then what will happen so then they will washed out of the vessel mean when there is a less growth rate and dilution is more than mu then what happen we are har harvesting the medium with the same rate what happen there will be a gradual washing of the cells and the total number of concentration inside the fermentation vessel will remain less than the initial one so by this case that the biomass concentration inside the vessel will be decreased so when the biomass inside the vessel will decrease it can affect what will be that so when there is a less substrate then there will be a more availability of the substrate because the relationship between the substrate availability to the existing cells what happen then there will be a more substrate and the present number of cells have the more chance to utilize the substrate so in the first condition lead to the second situation so when there is a second situation that can lead to the third situation what happen so when there is a increase substration uh, substrate concentration it affect directly on mu so by this case when there is a more substrate then there is a higher rate of specific growth rate so by when the in first condition when there is a washing out and then there is a decrease in substrate uh, in a biomass concentration and dilution is the same what happen then the, the more availability of the substrate that lead to the higher rate of the specific growth rate so when we say that there is a higher growth rate and with respect to the higher substrate that increase substrate concentration in the vessel that result will growing the higher rate than the dilution rate so the biomass concentration inside the fermentation increase so this is the third situation which will occur as the result of the first one so in such case in a fourth situation we can say that the steady state will be reestablished so these are the four possibilities can happen when there is a change in the steady state or actually what happen then it is all the time that in a continuous culture that the reestablishment of the steady state will happen so thus the chemo state is the nutrient limited shelf balancing self balancing culture system which may be maintained in a steady state over a wide range of sub maximum specific growth rate so we can say that the concentration of the cell in the chemo state which we have already seen this by the, such kind of the equation in a batch culture that x is equal to the y which is yield coefficient and that is directly related to the initial substrate concentration and as well as the residual substrate concentration so just by changing this uh, that x into x bar so x is the biomass con concentration uh, in the fermentation vessel but x bar is the substrate concentration when there is a steady state so in this equation as i already told when this steady state uh, biomass concentration can easily be calculated by this by addition of in this equation we can say that the mu max and ks as the monard constant and d is the dilution rate and sr is the substrate uh, concentration so by 
so we can say that the biomass concentration at steady state is determined by the operational variables sr d so the sr is increased then x bar will increase but the s which we called as the residual substrate in the chemostate will remain the same so because as well as we add the substrate then that will be utilized so if the d is increase then the mu will also increase so mu and d is very critical in this case so and the residual substrate at the new steady state would have increased to support the elevated growth rate so thus uh, the biomass resulting in the lower steady state so in such case when there is a reestablishment of the steady state then that is totally dependent upon the dilution rate which can be controlled uh, through the mechanical parameters in continuous culture